The absolute funnest fucking movie I've ever watched. All right, it's a little late, but right off the bat, something I really appreciate is the trailers didn't show anything of the movie. It felt like there was a lot of hype with these trailers, and yet there were still so many surprises. And what can I say? It is a Deadpool movie. It has the violence, it has the blood, it has the gore, but... It's done in a way that's comical and totally different at the same time. Now, if you're an intelligent individual and you came into this movie wanting to be fed some kind of deep, meaningful story, well, it's kind of there with Wolverine arc, but it's really a Deadpool movie and it's really just to make fun of everything. There's the fourth wall breaks, there is the jabs, both of the right and left politically, as well as the culture divide that makes a lot of people find themselves in where they're trying to remain PC. This movie doesn't do that. And that's why I love it so much. It truly felt like the entire production was flawlessly done. Compared to watching Deadpool 3 and Deadpool 1, the audio is just so beautiful. And I'm probably gonna have to rewatch it in theaters before it's gone. It's also a really nice send off to Fox. Because if you didn't know, the Deadpool franchise is all but moving away from Fox into Disney. And in the future, we might get a uh, rest in peace Disney. I was easily entertained and hooked from the very beginning. Now, regardless if you're a movie fan of Marvel or DC or whatnot, this movie falls highly into the multiverse theme. And honestly, it might actually be the movie that sets the tone for the direction of future movies in Disney, showing that we don't actually want the cultural septic one-sided garbage shoved down our throats. Instead, we just want to have a fun movie. I read a review on IMDb and it was a 6 out of 10, and the main complaint was there wasn't enough intellectual prowess towards the movie or in the movie. And I, being an intellectual, don't think that reviewer knows what Deadpool is. I really, really enjoyed all the cameos. It was awesome. I won't get into spoilers here, but they're definitely must see. Now, this movie isn't for the faint of heart or the squeamish or those who get tickled by or butt hurt with those kind of jokes. Remember, there was a saying when I was a kid that sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can only hurt you. Well, this movie makes it so that sticks and stones will break your bones and words will also kill you. Watching this movie in IMAX was truly a different experience. And I love the call outs for the fans, the geeks, the sequence of nostalgia and Easter eggs located in load, fired, reloaded again, fired again. It was awesome. Multiple times throughout this movie, there was the entire audience laughing, all bursting out and laughing for all the jokes. They're all landing. It wasn't a bombing set. It's a great, great movie, and it's a hilarious continuation of the Deadpool story. Without breaking any spoilers, again, in this video, it does call out some of the notoriously sketchy salesmen that we've seen on YouTube recently. Now, if you're looking for a blend of comedy, action, a little bit of emotions, then this movie is a must watch for anyone. And yes, it's a little inappropriate for the younger audiences. But you know your kids better than I do. So go have fun, buy some popcorn, enjoy the movie. It's probably the best one in the last five years. Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm rating this a 9 out of 10 on IMDb. And I'm not even going to plug another video because you just need to go to the theater and watch this. Today, tomorrow, whenever. This is not financial advice, but maybe even call out sick from work. It was that good.